Alright, g'day team. Uh, Joe here again. No, uh, no hunting as such this afternoon, but I'm heading up to the range with a couple of the boys that we're going on a bit of a tar trip with. Um, we're just heading up the range, obviously, to sighten the guns and make sure everything's zeroed and everything's uh, going where it should be. We've got a tar trip coming up at the end of the month, so um, it's always good to get down to the range and just make sure everything's going like it should. So uh, I'll see you at the range. Cheers, guys. We've got a 50. Uh, 100 and a 200 out to the back there. So the boys are just setting up some targets. Uh, we've got Garth with his 6.555. He's just um, just checking to make sure she's all good at 100. And Nick's got his 270. We've got the 7 mil rim mag. And the boys down there have got a new blackout. And Dave's got his 300 mil mag. <laughs> oh, shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Blackout rounds on the ground. I don't know if the fucking rifles are here. And the rum bottles. And the rum bottles. And the rum bottles, eh? Yeah, that's a yeah. good fuel And the Winnie Blues. And the Durry Blues. <laughs> and the Durry Packets. <laughs> right, so we'll get shooting see how we go. Lake Takapo. I really need to be still. Big bus section. <laughs> Sweet. I think that's Mount Cook up the end, and this is Lake Pukeki. Glen Tanna, Mount Cook. We've just got to park the trucks in under here, and they're going to um, weigh all the gear and stuff. Just to see what we're way before we get in the choppers. Mount Cook in the background up there. Yeehaw. Just about in the hills. Awesome. We couldn't get anyone in on the front seat because Dave's chili bin stole the spot. Look at the size of it. Ready to rumble. set up just down here in the bottom here and then Garth and Nick set up in there and the boys are staying up two are in the hut one's next to the hut there so we'll um we'll see how that goes for tonight and then we might move or we might just stay here depending on the bulls and whatever else we can see 
Yeah, obviously, like I said, we saw a few coming in, which was good. There's obviously a few in here. Man, she's an awesome spot. The choppers are still flying around because it's obviously quite a touristy spot up here. Anymore. Boys, get the gear ready. Got a bit of a mish sorted. Got a bit of uh, Danish salami and some camembert cheese. Thought we'd, we'd flash it up this trip since we came in with the with the chopper and had a bit more room for gear. So the boys are going to head up over the top of this little uh, knob here, disappear over the side, and have a look back up up there. We might head down to the river flats and um, head across and have a look on this face over here and see if anything comes out once the sun, sun starts cooling down a bit because it's still quite warm. We've just spotted a couple of tar up, uh, some running water just up in here and they're tucked into a bit of a shelf up there in the shade. Alright, so we've hatched a plant. The boys are just starting to cut through just up in here. You can see them or not, but the boys are just cutting up there and they're going to tuck over the top and have a look up there. And um, Nick, Garth and I are going to head down, head down river and try and have a look over on that plateau sort of face over there this evening and see what we can come up with. So uh, we'll see you down there. Up, up we go. Fun bit of time hunting. They move quick. Oh, really? G'day team. Unfortunately we um, we saw a few up in this in this face up here but um, the wind sort of started swirling and changed a bit and started blowing up the valley so unfortunately they've winded us and started heading further and further up and just constantly looking back so they've sort of disappeared now after watching them for about 45 minutes. Uh, we've got into about 210 meters but the lower ones were just small swally so we just left them seen one big one up the top that we might have another look at tomorrow but um just for now we're going to head back to camp and uh, hopefully we might bump into something on the way so we've uh, just got to head along this head along side along the side of this face and then back around the corner and head towards camp Last stroll back to camp. So we dragged that tar out and took some back steaks and some meat off it. She was no trophy, but um, I was good to get one on the ground, that's for sure. Looks pretty happy. Wind's calmed right down. 
just about buggered off. So, all right, don't know where the uh, the head's gone, but the other boys that uh, went up in the other direction. Uh, Dan got a 12, 12 inch. They were up uh, just behind all the tents in the huts, uh, the hut. So they uh, came it up the side of this bank and then went over the top to a bit of a basin up the top there, and they saw a few. But uh, he was the best one. <coughs> So, damn good first day to be honest. So it's time to uh, unload some of the gear, get some get some dry pants and, and get the wet socks and wet boots off, and uh, start cooking up a feed. Righty ho! So that is Dan's head. Measured tw twelve. Yeah, twelve. Yeah, yeah, just a little over twelve. Just a little over twelve. Not enough to worry about. Shame it. about the mane, oh. but um. Yep, the head the slips. The head's the trophy. But it's time to crack out into a bit of food. And obviously the boys will be just they've only got just a couple of cans they brought in. I think there's one designated chili bin. Do you wanna show them the truth? No, I don't want to show them the chili <laughs> bin. Righto. A bit of tar back steak. Chuck some bacon on. The boys are gonna cook up some hamburgers. Doing it pretty rough. <laughs> and uh, cheese and some camembert and crackers. Gee! Come <laughs> thank Chris. Yeah. He's a bloody good woman, that woman of yours, Joseph. Keep that wife on. Yeah. Keep her on the payroll. Righty ho. So there we have tea. Tar back steak, some bacon. Righto, morning team. It's uh, day two. Not a bad sleep at all, to be honest. Crashed out, been a big day yesterday, so slept well. A few sand flies out this morning, but that's all good. Boys are uh, up for breakfast, getting this gear sorted. I've already spotted a few tar just in the uh, over there, on that face over there. So we'll just see what this cloud's going to do for the day and. Might just head over there and see see if we can get some more footage or some some, some more tar on the deck. But it's a uh, cup of tea time, so I'll um, go get some brekkie, cup of tea. See how we get on. All right. Mate. Heading up the riverbed, it's half past ten at the moment, and damn, it's hot, man. But we want to get into a good position, even if we end up having a bit of a uh, siesta up in the hill, so that when it comes that cooler temperature this afternoon, we're, uh, we're in a good position to hopefully catch in some, run into some good bull. Sorry, just a bit of a river crossing, and as I'm. Uh, not the tallest of blokes. Everyone else got wet legs and I was pretty much wet up to my neck. But that's all good. Right, time to get amongst climbing this bad boy. Right, I'll see you at the top. To top. Ish. It's just flattened out a tiny bit up here. Check out all that over there. That's where we came up. Don't quite look that steep, but it is. Whew. Down the valley. Plan of tackers, we're going to head along that little bit of a ridgy bit there. And we're going to check on the other side over the top. And then the plan for the afternoon is we're going to duck down and then come up onto that spur, up onto that little knobby bit there. There and then we're going to try and head across pretty much that whole grassy face because that's mainly where we're seeing the tar in the afternoon just then up there just spotted a couple up near that bit of snow down the bottom there a couple up there just having a stretch of the legs and then tuck them back into the rocks but she's an absolute pearl a day man couldn't have asked for a better so boys have left so I will charge on and catch up. Sweet.
ugly looking stuff coming up the valley so we thought we might head back to camp before it uh, arrives. The boys, the boys are up that way somewhere, we had plenty of shots. So hopefully there's some good news when they return. But, it's been a good day. Saw plenty, just no, no big ones. And to be honest we could have shot a couple on the other side. Um, just in this face over here there were 371 but none of them were massive and to be honest the recovery would have been pretty damn hard if it had stayed up there and not fallen so it's all part of this tarn and I'm gathering so it's time to time to head down right I'll see you back at camp with fire going dry out a bit of gear cup of tea boys still aren't back but I've decided to start cooking it's a uh, quarter to eight so a couple of steaks bit of bacon and some bread and we'll be sorted now a cup of tea right, good day team day three uh, we had heaps of rain last night and I didn't get a super super good sleep so I might be a bit red eyed this morning sand flies are out and about uh, working up to another well a good start to the day sure most of the stuff that you can see behind me and stuff will burn off so it's time to have a bit of brekkie get a brew going and then uh, hatch a plan for today the boys got back last night with a bit of meat from their um, hunt they saw quite a few but they were up really really high which was sort of the same as us and they could have had a shot at a couple but they would have been unretrievable so let them go for another day so we'll get some brekkie into us and uh, a good cuppa coffee and um, go from there. Righto. Talk soon. Bit of breaky time. Breaky time. Breaky time. What have we got today, boys? Oh, I've got a skinny beans, bacon, and hash browns. A bit of bread. Oomfa. Doing it rough in the hills. Yeah. We've got a. Uh, Weak bit spikes and some raisins. Oh, and a cup of mochaccino. <laughs> <laughs> yep, hatched a bit of a plan. It's just Garth and I going out today. Nick's going to head up to the top of uh, that country up there. Nick's going to head up there, and Garth and I are going to head up to the top of this but just go around the back try and get out of this sun just turned out to be another stinking day which is awesome we've had such good weather apart from, I mean the rain came through last night which was so good we were all asleep well some of us were so it's just Garth and I yeah, today to this uh, basin to the to the right of us we saw a couple I well, we saw quite a few up there on the Tuesday when we flew in so hopefully we can get into a good position for the afternoon Unless we spot something better down somewhere. But yeah, we'll just keep nudging on up here. She's tough going. Got the sweats on. But I guess that's what happens when you're walking at quarter past twelve in the day. Right, uh, see you around the corner. As you would have seen, I uh, took a shot at that tar, 405 yards, and it seemed to hit it in the left shoulder, um, but it just peeled down through the bush, 
and then ran out down the bottom of the creek so we're going to sidle around this face here and see if we can't see him either down in the creek or in this next gut over but uh, there was five, six of them sitting in the bush just uh, straight in front of the camera there and they were all just tucked up and as soon as I shot it was like the blooming bush came alive they were scattering everywhere so hopefully he's down the bottom or around the corner I can find him Right, we'll keep chugging away. Rightio, g'day guys. Uh, no success this afternoon, unfortunately. We couldn't find that one out at uh, 400 that we first shot at. Um, and then we just waited the area out pretty much and nothing else came out. Uh, a couple came out at five, 500-ish. And I had a shot at one and missed, and then had a shot at another and smoked it at 570, which I was stoked with, and it fell into a real gutty gorge. And that was the end of that. We weren't um, able to retrieve that, unfortunately. But uh, it's time to head back to camp. It's the end of day three. Uh, I just spoke to the boys on the radio, and they've supposedly got a couple of bulls, and they're sort of heading back to camp too. So um, it's been a good day again on the hills. It's time to uh, head back to camp. Right, we'll see you back there. Day four. Um, yeah, we started heading back to camp last night and spotted a couple of bulls high up in uh, that face, just up there, that scree you can see just up over there, they were just to the left of that, so we're 600, no, 560 yards or something, so I got Garth to get out the 7 mil rear mag and have a shot and he just went over the top of one which you might see on the video um, and then it, yeah and then we just headed back to camp caught up with the boys they got a couple of meat animals and um, yeah Nick had no luck where he went he saw plenty but no big balls which he was after so he left the rest so we've got to ring the chopper today because supposedly it's going to get really windy tomorrow and the choppers might not be able to get a chance to get over the main divide to get us so we might head out early if not, and the weather's going to be good, we'll have one more day of hunting. So hopefully we've woken up to another cracker day. It's not a breath of wind, no cloud. Valley's nice and clear. Right, oh, so time to put the jug on, have some brekkie. Hatch your plan. Right, oh. Fucking fuck him. Look at your screen in a minute, Joseph. <laughs> Oh, the party break Nothing break. like skiddy beans to get you going in the morning. Yeah. Boys, oh, meat's on the ground. Boys are fueling up. Meat's on the ground. Trophy on the bloody hill over there. On the yep. tree. Trophy's on the tree. Deskinned. Clothes line. Little base camp. Dan spotted a few this morning. Up. Uh, just under that tiny bit of snow just there. About eight hanging around up there. We're just going to wait. Dan's going to. Oh, sorry, Dave. Dave's going to get the sat phone out and ring them this morning. Bringing the helicopters. Uh, just to get a weather report. Phone, uh, sat phones, courtesy of Naltech Communications. Chirp. Just a plug there. Cheers, boys. Going to give them a ring. See what the weather's doing. Whether they're going to come and get us today or um, weather's going to last, and we can stick it out another day. Hopefully we can. So Dan, Dave and Neil are going to get picked up now, day early.
go the boys. So today we're heading up to up that direction. We'll hopefully get around the corner a little bit, but there's some really good stuff up the top. Um, yeah, usual story. Huffing and puffing and a good grind to the top, but um, this is tar hunting. So perfect weather. Apart from it being stinking hot, man, it is hot. But unfortunately, you've sort of got to get out in the middle of the day to get into a position to get these uh, guys coming down out of these cliff tops down to the down to the feed. But it's all good. Right on, push on. Sweet. Well, I've made it to the top. Ish. A bit of lunch. be able to see or not but that's where we were uh, two days ago way up there and we pretty much went across and sidled underneath all of that face and we ended up sitting right up in that waterfall up there and we were checking out all the stuff over here and ran into some young bulls and then we ended up um, coming down ridge edge there, that grassy ridge edge and then drop back down to camp. Today we thought we'd get up here and try a different spot. It is 2.30 just about. Alright team, she doesn't look steep but I tell you what, there's some fair grunting going on. I've just come up from the camera doesn't do it justice and sorry about the wind noise but this is where we are. Here I've left Garth behind. He just said the old legs weren't, weren't going to do it, so Nick and I are going to chuck up here and see what we can see. way down. Right, oh, that's us. We're at the end of day four. We watched probably a good half dozen, maybe eight or nine good bulls come down from over the top of this, well, pretty much on top of this peak and in the back peak because we were way down the bottom. So we sort of closed the gap to half and then they all paired off. Uh, down the side and into a bit of a basin down the bottom and um, yeah the boys sent me up there to uh, to survey and to see if the, we were um, the other two could come up and have a, have a bit of a shootout but unfortunately when I got up there there was nothing apart from one scarpering up the side of the bank that was just a, um, a juvie bull which I wasn't really interested in having a shot at so and then funny enough I was on my way back and heard a shot and just this cliff in front of us just here uh, a decent ball came out onto top of that and I think Nick smoked it straight off the side and down onto a bit of a scree so he's over there now having a bit of a look so I'm hoping it's a good one because we've put in some damn hard yards up and down these hills it's been well worth it though the, the scenery alone like I've always said is man it's spectacular it really really is and very deceptive One last thing guys, I've got to do a big shout out, Mark and Mario from Big Blue Dive and Fish in Nelson, big shout out to you guys, it's not only uh, fishing stuff in there and diving stuff, these guys do head torches, cookers, 
backcountry food. I mean, you name it, they can pretty much get it for you or source it. So big shout out to those guys back in Nelson, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers, boys. Day five. It's Saturday morning, and we came in on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, yeah, like you saw, the boys left yesterday, and we got out for a hunt um, yesterday and headed right up. Um, right up around the back and right hooked right around the back and we saw plenty and Nick got a meat animal but we didn't see any decent bulls we could, I mean could have shot a few but um, at the end of the day I was trying to get something that was that was a bit of a trophy instead of just getting something to hang on the wall um, so we're all done we're all packed up ready to go the chopper's going to be here at 9 o'clock which is in 45 minutes 